February 4th, 2024, is faith in the power of God. Be in the book of Isaiah, starting chapter 40, verses 12 through 13, and then 25 through 31. On se de febrero de 2024, en el horno de fuego, Daniel, capítulo 3, versículos 19 a 28. Amén. Lingo Escuela, febrero 11, 2024. Yes. Para la manapalataya, sa paninig gas ng pugon, Daniel 13, verses 19. 28. Ngày 11 tháng 2 năm 2024, niềm tin vào lò lửa Daniel 3, 19, 28. <cười> Daniel chapter 3, verses 19 through 28, starting in chapter, uh, verse 19. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visages, visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it, than it was wont to be heated. Daniel chapter 3, King James Version. Verse 20. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Verse 21. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Daniel 3, verses 22 and 23. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, the furnace was exceedingly hot. The flames of the flu saw those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Amen. Daniel 3. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in his and spoke and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Yes. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt, and the form of the foot is like the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Verse 26. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near the mouth of the burning fury furnace. He spoke and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Benigo, gay servants of the Most High God, come forth. Come here. Then Shadrach, Mish Meshach, and Benedict came forward of the midst of the fire. Amen. And the princes, governor, and captains, and the king councils being gathered together, saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power nor was any hair of their heads singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of, of fire had passed on them. Amen. Hebrews, King James Version. Daniel 3, 28. Then Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, Blessed be the God of Sirach, Meshach, and Abednego, who have sent his angel and delivered his servant, that trusted in him, have changed the king's word, and yield their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Amen. The New King James Version. Daniel, 3rd chapter, 28 verse. Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servant who trust in him. And they have frustrated the king's word and yield their body 
that they should not serve no nor worship any God except their own. May the Lord have a blessing on the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word. Amen. English Standard Version, Daniel 3 and 28. Nebuchadnezzar answered and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him and set aside the king's command and yielded up their bodies rather than serve and worship any god except their own. Amen. Hebrews Daniel 3.28, Amplified Bible. Nebuchadnezzar responded and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants who believe and trust them and relied on him. They violated the king's command and surrendered their bodies rather than serve or worship any God, expect their own God. Amen. Amen. Verse, Daniel chapter 3, verse 28, New International Version. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. They trusted him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any God except their own God. All right, Daniel 3.28, Living Bible, uh, verse 28. Then Meshach, uh, blessed be the God of Shadrach and Meshach and Bendigo, for he sent his angel to deliver his trusting servant when they defied the king's commandment and were willing to die rather than serve or worship any of God except their own. Daniel 328, New Revised Reversed. Standard Virgin Catholic Edition, you have executed true judgments and all you brought upon us and upon Jerusalem. The holy city of our ancestors by true judgment you have brought all upon all this upon of our sins Amen. Amen. 328 new revised standard version updated edition nebuchadnezzar said blessed be the god of shadrach meshach and abednego who has sent his angel and delivered his servants who trust in him they disobeyed the king's command and yielded up their bodies rather than serve and worship any god except their own Amen. Versículo Amen. clave, Daniel 3:28, Reina Valera 1960. Entonces, Nabucodonosor, Nabucodonosor dijo, mm -hmm. Bendito sea el Dios de ellos, de Sadrach, Mesach, Abed y Abed, que envió, y Abed negó, que envió su ángel. Y libró a sus siervos que confiaron en él y que no cumplieron el edicto del rey. Y entregaron sus cuerpos antes que servir y adorar a otro Dios. A otro Dios que no sea su Dios. Amen. Choosing Talata, Key Versus, Daniel 3.28. Magandang balita, Biblia. Dahil dito, sinasabi ng hari, purhin ang Dios ni na siya siya rap mishap at abin abinego isinugod niya ang mga kanyang anghel upang iligtas ang mga paglilingkod niyang ito sa ganap na sumapalataya sa kanya hindi sumusunod ng mga ito sa aking utos inusto pa nilang sila'y ihagis sa apoy kisa sumamba sa Diyos yes. Diyosan yes. Amen. 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 Amen Go go Keywords Daniel 328 New Vietnamese people 28 Vua Nebuchadnezzar tuyên bố ngợi khen Đức Chúa Trời của Đa Sa Đơ Rắc Mê Sát và A Bích Nê Gu Ngài đã sai thiên sứ Ngài giải cứu đầy tớ Ngài là những người tin cậy Ngài hà bất tuân lệnh vua hy sinh tính mạng hơn là cúng thờ quỳ lạy thần nào khác ngài đức chúa trời 
equal, huh? Amen. Daniel 329 through 30, King James Version. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made of dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Amen. Blessing on the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word. Amen. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another Sunday School lesson. This lesson is for February the 11th, 2024, and it's called Faith in the Fiery Furnace. It's coming from Daniel chapter 3, verses 19 through 28. This is the second uh, lesson in the series, Unit 3, The Righteous Live by Faith. So last week, it was Faith in the Power of God from Isaiah chapter 40. This one is Faith in the Fiery Furnace from Daniel chapter 3. Uh, next month, I mean next week, is Daniel chapter 6. And the last uh, Sunday for February from Habakkuk, Faith in God's Purpose. Amen. Without further ado, uh, we'll have our opening prayer. All right, let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we come to learn more about you through your word. Open our hearts and minds and teach us through this Sunday school lesson. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Padre Olympia, nuestros corazones y mentes para recibir voluntariamente tu palabras. Entonces esconde tu palabras sabores en nuestros corazones para que no pequemos contra ti. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. Amen. 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 Ama, inisin mo ang, ang aming mga puso at isipan upang pusang loob at tanggapin ang iyong mga salita. Pagkatapos ay itago ang iyong mga salita na nagliligtas sa aming mga puso na hindi kami nagkakasala laban sa iyo. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, kami ay nananalangin. Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, the background for this lesson is the whole uh, Daniel chapter 3, and the devotion is Isaiah 43, 1 through 7. Isaiah 43, uh, it only has one heading in the, in the study Bible. So it's Israel's only Savior. So that's the emphasis. Israel's only Savior. There's 28 verses in there, and all of them relate to that. Uh, verse 1, I'll just read verse 1 here. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Hallelujah. So ownership, claiming you right there. And if God speaks a word, that word does not return void. It accomplishes that which is sent out to accomplish. And hey, if he said, thou art mine, sure. We are his. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Okay, moving on to Daniel chapter 3. Uh, chapter 3 is only broken down into two sections. So the first section is the first seven verses. It's Nebuchadnezzar, golden's image. Golden image. And uh, section 2 is the fiery furnace, which is verse, verses 8 through 30, which is the end. So I just want to review a little just a little small section of the of the background scripture, which is uh, Daniel chapter 3, starting with verse 1. Nebuchadnezzar king made an image of gold, whose height was three score cubits, and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Okay, I just want to uh, stop right there because this was the most powerful king of the land at the time. And the Lord allowed the Israelites to be captured by the Babylonians or the Chaldeans because of their punishment for disobeying his laws constantly day in and day out. Okay, well, hold on. You don't learn by just speaking it. Okay, well, we're going to take action now. So the Lord allowed the Babylonians to capture the, uh, the Israelites. So Nebuchadnezzar built an a, a image. So they said the image is three score cubits. Uh, one score is what? 20, three score is 60, 
So a cubit is approximately 18 inches, usually elbow to fingertip. And uh, so if 60 cubits, that's 90 feet. Now it may not sound like a may not sound like a lot to you guys, but let's let's put that in perspective. The uh, Martin Luther King statue in Washington, D.C. is 30 feet, and that's 11 foot taller than uh, Lincoln and Jefferson memorials. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we'll probably put a pitch up in there so you can see the, the size of even a 30 foot, because what, man, six foot, you know, I'm just saying, 30 feet. So, moving on. Verse 4 says, Then a, a herald cried aloud to you, it is commanded of people, nations, and languages. So Nebuchadnezzar wasn't only king just in Babylon, he was king of the land. So he had command of everybody in, in the vicinity. If, if, <laughs> if there was another king, he had to submit to Nebuchadnezzar. So now what? He commanded nations, languages. So there wasn't no language barrier. You, you knew what the rule was. Verse 5 says that at one time you hear the, the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the psaltery, the dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. So this is going to be a blast. This is going to be a fanfare. You wasn't going to miss this here because we're going to have all these instruments playing because this was the time to worship this golden image that he built. Okay, moving on to 6. And whoso falleth not down and worship shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Okay, so this is, this is the scenario, this is part of the background. So then we go uh, to the fiery furnace section, which is section 2 in Daniel 3. 8 says, Wherefore at that time certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. So here we go, somebody plotting on these guys because they, they found favor. Uh, they, they were eating the pulse, right? Pulse is what, the vegetables and, and, and had water. They didn't eat the king's meat and, and enjoy the wine like all these other uh, wise uh, boys that, that submitted to the king. They spake and said unto the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. 10, O thou king, you have made a decree that every man, and, and, and what, in the previous verse it said all languages, what, all the nations, you know, so, mm, so, because Nebuchadnezzar was over all of them, that every man, so, uh, submit to this image when it's time. So, verse 12 says, there are certain Jews, now here they go telling on them, certain Jews has thou has set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, and who are they, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? These men, O king, have not regarded thee. So in other words, we they violating you, king. So they they bringing it like that. Uh, they serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. So they want to make it personal to the king that they violating you know not just the law of the land, but from what you said, king. That what did you say? Did you set this up? Oh well, <laughs> they violate. And it remind me of the, of the guys telling on the. Uh, uh, the woman uh, accused of adultery. So she didn't commit adultery by herself, but yet all these guys telling Jesus, oh, we caught her in the act. And, and, and the penalty is to be stoned to death. So and what, what Jesus said, he without sin cast the first stone, and all of them just dropped their stones one by one and walked off. So he said, where are thy accusers? He, she said, there are none. And he said, neither do I. Uh, sin, sin no more, right? So don't make the same mistake like a dog returning to his vomit, right? Sin no more and, and you know, you'll be free. So free of being stoned to death. So he actually saved her life. I'm just saying, but but they, it was a, it, it, that could have been a plot too. It could have been a setup, who knows? So this was a setup because it's like, okay, hey, we got this law in place. Now we're gonna get these Hebrew guys because they over everything. You know, they just ruling us and, and all these rules and uh-uh, hold on, let's see how we can get them. So this is the plot. So now the king is hot about this because they didn't stir him up. So now we get into our lesson, which is 13, uh, uh, Daniel 3, 19 through 28. 19 says, Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his vis visage, visage 
was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. So now they didn't fire the king up. So the king mad about it. Okay, well, let's fire this. You know, not we're not going to just throw him in a fiery furnace. Heat it up seven times even hotter. And let's see now. Okay, so verse 20 says, And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning fiery furnace. So I'll fix them for violating this law that I made. Now, that's, that's the where, where we're going here. So verse 21 says, These men were bound in their coats, their hosen, their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the fiery furnace, burning fiery furnace. So uh, the German word hosen uh, is translated to the English pants. So just so we're not confused uh, with, with the with the Old Testament here. Uh, so, and then he had the greatest men in the army. So this wasn't no, uh, you know, little wimps or something that was standing on the side with the, you know, I'm just saying this was the, the big guys and they bound them up good. So, uh, hey, bound them up where they can't get loose and free themselves and, and do some kind of David Copperfield magic act or something. Bound them up good. Verse 22 says, therefore, because of the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot. The flames of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So hey, it's seven times hotter. It was burning the guys who was obeying the king's commandment to throw them in there. Verse 23 says, And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. So that seemed like, okay, that's the end of the story. They violated it. The king said, heat that furnace up even extra. Had the most valiant men pretty much tie them up, bind, bind them, throw them in the fire. They end up dying because the fire was just so hot. That's how hot this thing was. But, okay, so they threw them in the furnace. So you figure that's it. Well, hold on. Verse 24 said, then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste. And speak and say to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They said, Oh, yes, O king, true, O king. And 25 says, He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jesus rescues us from fiery situations. And sometimes we have other things that's going on in our lives. And as long as we're obedient, <laughs> he'll come through one way or another. Now, we can't tell what will the Lord do because hey, his, his ways are as far from our ways as the heavens are from the earth. So that's not for us to figure out. But uh, for you guys that like to figure out stuff, just think, uh, we can't figure out what time exactly the sun is going to come up on the other end of the world, I'm just saying, you know, uh, and then what, what happens in the, in the ground uh, for germination before we even see a, a plant? Uh, what, how is a baby formed in the womb? You know, I'm just saying, there's a lot of stuff that we know of, but we don't know how that happened, but that's up to the Lord. The Lord is working all that out. Sometimes the, the battle is not ours, it's the Lord's. Hallelujah. We, we pray that uh, those that are pregnant, because we do have some some of our uh, personnel that have newborns. So congratulations to you guys who have these newborns. And we pray that, uh, the safety of those who still have uh, deliveries on the way. And we pray for the safety of your children in Jesus' name. But anyway, God protects. So so, so here, okay, hey, God protected these uh, three Hebrew boys. Now the men died uh, trying to put them in the fire. Now they in the fire, and then they were all bound up. Well, hold on. They're walking around free. And not three of them, but four. So the Son of God right there. So, hey, regardless of where we make our bed, he is there. Heaven, hell, where, but he is there. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord comforts his people. Okay, moving on. Uh, 26 years, the Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace. And speak and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth 
and come hither. That then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Verse 27 says, And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was a hair of their head singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. So God created the heavens and the earth, and he is the creator. Hallelujah. We find that from the book of Genesis, first chapter. And then look, when we get into the New Testament, first chapter of John, Gospel of John, was the word, hallelujah, and the word was made flesh, but what? Nothing was made that was made without that word being there. That word is Jesus Christ. So we're going to offer him up to you, and we just hope that you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. So anyway, I just want to uh, read our last verses, 28. Then Nebuchadnezzar speak and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Yes, I'm a believer. That's a song some of you guys know from Timothy, right? Yes, I'm a believer. Yes, I'm a believer. So sometimes even so-called Christians, you know, you would think, you know, that, that we do everything because, hey, we believe in the Lord. But it's like, yeah, some circumstances might influence you to do something a little different. But remember, acknowledge him in all your ways so he can direct your paths. So I can, I can compare that to uh, Exodus 14, across in the Red Sea. Of course, you know, look at the situation, hopeless. Uh, you know, you got the, the Red Sea in front of you. You got uh, a whole army with weapons and chariots behind you. But, hey, there's a, a pillar of fire, a pillar of smoke. And, and that's the Lord, hallelujah. And he said he will fight the battle. So sure enough, the Lord opened the Red Sea, let all the Israelites safely go across. He allowed the Israelite army, I mean the Egyptian army, to go into the Red Sea so that they could try the same thing, to try to pursue the Israelites. And what did he do? He closed that Red Sea up on, on the army. So Pharaoh had no, no men, but he made Pharaoh a believer. He said, oh yeah, this is a God here. This is the God, the most high God. Hallelujah. So uh, God's going to do what it takes to make you a believer. But it's like, hey, let's just read his word and be believers. Hallelujah. So we just thank the Lord for his word. We pray that he hide his word in our hearts that we send out against him. And uh, we, we thank you for the, the lessons. Hallelujah. So with that, we have our final prayer. Let us pray. Hey, hi, God. You are the one true God. You are the faithful to our people. You continue to show your faithfulness to us through your spirit, fortify our faith and trust so we can resist the temptation to worship other gods, large and small. Show us how we might support our believers in their trials of faith. Give us encouragement and strength no matter where you have called us. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. 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 Dios Altísimo, tú eres el único Dios verdadero. Eres fiel a tu pueblo y continúas mostrándonos tu fidelidad a través de tu espíritu. Fortalece nuestra fe y, y confianza para que podamos resistir la tensión, la tentación de adorar a otros dioses, grandes y pequeños. Muéstranos cómo podemos apoyar a otros creyentes en su prueba de fe. Danos ánimo y fuerza sin importar a dónde nos hayas llamado en el nombre de Jesús. Amén, tayo, kataas ka taas ng Dios. Ikaw ang ang nag-iisang tunay na Dios. Ikaw ay dapat sa iyo mga tao na patuloy mong ipakikita ang iyong katapatan sa amin. Sa pamamagitan ng iyong Espiritu, patibay ng amin pananalangkataya at pagkitiwala upang magpalaban ng aming tuksong sumasamba sa ibang mga Diyos. 
Malaki nang mat maliit ipakita sa amin kung paano namin maaaring isuportahan ang ibang pananampalataya sa kanilang mga pagsubok sa pananampalataya bigyan mo kami ng lakas ng loob ng lakas at kahit saan mo kami tawagin sa pangalan ni Jesus Cristo aming panalangin Amen 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 Hãy cùng cầu nguyện lạy Đức Chúa Trời tối cao Ngài là Đức Chúa Trời chân thật duy nhất Ngài thành tín với dân Ngài và Ngài tiếp tục thể hiện sự thành tín của Ngài đối với chúng con nhờ thánh linh của Ngài xin củng cố đức tin và sự trông cậy của chúng con để chúng con có thể chống lại sự cám dỗ thờ phượng các thần khác lớn và nhỏ hãy chỉ cho chúng tôi cách chúng tôi có thể hỗ trợ những tín hữu khác trong thử thách đức tin của họ hãy cho chúng tôi sự khích lệ và sức mạnh bất kể bạn đã gọi chúng tôi ở đâu nhưng danh Chúa Giêsu chúng con cầu nguyện Amen 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 Thanks again for our prayers Thanks again for all the readings of the Scripture uh, Thanks for our family and friends participating in our lessons and for what the translations and uh, for the pictures that you guys sent so that we could uh, just spruce things up a little bit here and there. So I uh, hope you join us next week. Uh, next week's lesson is February the 18th, and it's entitled Faith in Times of Trouble. So the fire furnace, of course, will be uh, reviewed today. It's definitely times of trouble, that fire furnace, huh? And then uh, next week we have Daniel in the lion's den. Uh, that's a big... You know, just think some big wild animals <laughs> waiting, hungry. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who, who rescues us. Hallelujah. Thank you for Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. So anyway, thanks again for everybody reading. Thanks to our pastor, Eddie Cross III, for uh, use of this church in Gretna, Louisiana. We invite y'all to come in. It's good hope here uh, if you're passing through on a Sunday. Uh, for those who uh, have not already, we encourage you to subscribe to the lesson so that you can get a, a weekly uh, word of the Lord. This is dedicated to offshoremen. Uh, while you're working on these platforms, I know it's not a way that we can just run and go to church next door or something and run back. <laughs> So we got the Sunday school to go out to you so that you can get a word from the Lord as well. So thank everybody for your participation and hope to see you next week. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Uh, pray for the safety of the guys in our industry, the safety for our loved ones at home. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory and exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty main power both now and forever. Amen. 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 Amen.